solidified goo. Oh, wow. That's... That's wonderful. A gooey substance that is hardened with time. Oh. Oh, that's just delightful. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today, checking out Distant Bloom, where we've crashed on an alien planet, and we've got to revitalize it and make it suitable for habitation with plants. Well, we're here. Let me just bring everyone up to speed here. We were searching for a new planet in which to call home, and we thought we found a great one, and then we crashed here, and it's kind of terrible. I've woken up over here next to my flaming pod, and I'm going to pick this up. Oh, there's a little guy down there. Hello, little guy. Are you going to be my bestest buddy ever? Well, you're going to be my assistant. That's an excellent start. What's your resume look like, Chief? Well, he's on board. We've hired him, and we've got to go look for the hearth ship, the mother ship that kind of crashed with us. Apparently, everyone came down in little pods, and we've got to go find... Ah, what have we got here? What, what can we do? What's this junk doing here? I don't know. It was a big crash, man. I'm sure there's lots of debris all over the place. So we're going to pick this up, and we've got garbage. Just actual... Actual garbage. I am... I'm on this planet five minutes. I'm already a space hobo picking up other people's garbage. Nothing much going on over here. Let's just have maybe a bit of an explore, see what's going on. How about up at the top of the hill here? We got anything fun and interesting and, well, not garbage? No, no, it's, it's more garbage. And more garbage over here. It's got to be a crafting material. There must be something that I'm doing with this that I need to be picking up other people's trash, but not much else going on over there. Try to keep up, man. We're moving quick around here. Well, there's all sorts of neat stuff over there, but I don't think I can get there from here. No, I can't. I can't jump over there or anything like that. All right, let's keep on the path looking for the old... Mo oh, wow, it got really dark. Should I be concerned about that? Good news, team. More garbage over here. How about down here? I haven't really found anything of note except my assistant here telling me that this doesn't look like the guidebook, basically. What's going on here? Can I... Can I get rid of this? No, I can't pass that in any way. Can I just... I can drop down. Okay, so I can just drop down from there. No problem. What about over here? Can I drop down to here? Yep, totally can. Good news! More garbage. And more over here. Now, this looks much more interesting. Yes, there we go. All right, we've got a new pod here. And judging by the Zs, I'm going to assume there's somebody asleep in there. Another cryopod. They got lucky. Whoever's inside is still sound asleep. We should wake them up. Absolutely. Let's bang on the pod and really scare them. Nope, can't wake them up. We need someone of higher authority to do that. Probably for the best. I have no degree of confidence in my ability to wake up somebody from crypto sleep. How about uh, over here in the cave? What's going on over here? can drop down here, more garbage to pick up. And my assistant has informed me that the hearth ship is within radius, and that's popped up a little mini-map up in my corner there. So I know if I just kind of go along here, the, um, the space flies hovering around the garbage are a mild concern. I don't think this is a very clean planet. Ah, that's going to be the old hearth ship then. You can tell because it's gigantic. You look like someone in authority. Can you wake people up by any chance? And we got an exoscanny from a man here, so he'd like us to start scanning objects. Fair enough. Okay, give us more information about the thing that we're scanning. So I got my scanner out. I'm right. Can I scan you? Can I scan you? I'd like to scan you. I don't trust you one bit. Let's go over here and obviously scan this. So what have we got? It's garbage. Yeah, we were pretty clear on that one. Didn't didn't need to do a whole lot of scanning for that. Now, can I then put that away and pick up the garbage? Okay, I can. So what am I supposed to be doing? Scan plants around the hearth ship. Fine. Well, we'll get that. There's obviously one right down here somewhere. Get some more garbage and then get the old scanner out and scan you. All right, scan this plant. It's a hoda dupula ba ba ba. It's one of them. And over here, we've got what? A hodi pank. All right, it looks very sad. It's got a frowny face on it. It's got X's for eyes, and that means either it's dead or it's drunk. And over here, we've just got glass waste. All right, discarded glass. Can it be broken apart? I have no idea. You tell me, game. I'm I'm new to this. I see the other plant over there, though. So, all right, so we've got some more debris we might be able to extract later. I'm going to guess some kind of hammer or pickaxe or something along those lines is going to be necessary. But let's get this scanned over here. And we've got whatever that was. I didn't have time to read it. We've got a fern, an herb, and a tree. Let's show the Elder our findings. Dude, these were all right outside his door. And he had the scanner on his possession. Like, it was... He, he gave it to me. 
You're telling me he couldn't have just nipped next door and scanned that thing? We're being given a mission to go back to that pod and wake up the guy, but I wanted to check out my inventory. So I've got a bunch of trash is basically all I've got right now. What else is in here? My seed bag. I probably have no seeds whatsoever. No, I have no seeds whatsoever. I'm on my way to the pod, but I've got more scannable things over here. I've got a large metal pile. Okay, so obviously something in the future we're getting that we can extract these things. So the pod is somewhere over here. Oh, I've got another thing I could scan. No more trash picking. No, let's absolutely... It, it's garbage. I, I didn't need to scan that. I'm very, very confident on garbage. Oh god, the garbage made the plants explode. The garbage made the plants explode. Uh, in, a, in a positive way, it must be said. They're looking much more lush now. Witness trash picker. Wow, there's a title I've been waiting for somebody to call me. Oh, beloved trash picker. So pollutants cause plants to get sick and wither. Remove them to help the plants grow. Very, very sensible process there. There is a hard line here. There's a hard barrier where lush and green, not so lush and green, but let's get some more trash picked up. That'll probably help things along. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So we got some more plants coming in. Oh, and that's giving us some kind of path to get up to the next area there. Yep, can walk right up that and right over this and we'll be somewhere vaguely where we need to be. Ah, except I can't get over there because I can't get through that right now. I can't get through that. There's valuable trash over there too. I can't jump that. Ah, here we go. Little bridge over here. No problem. Now, there's more junk over here, but it's different kinds of junk. So let's scan this. Solidified goo. Oh, wow. That's... That's wonderful. A gooey substance that is hardened with time. Oh. Oh, that's just delightful. Violent reaction when plants are nearby. Okay. Um, what happens if I remove the garbage from here? Because then the plants are going to grow, but is the goo going to make them explode? The, the hardened goo. I want to be clear about that. It's, it's not just goo. It's hardened goo. The plants filtered out the pollution. Okay, so the plants beat the goo, the hardened goo. Grab some more garbage out of there, got some more plants to be growing. Nothing going on over here. I'm a little fuzzy on where the pod is now. I've wandered so far away from wherever we were, or indeed are. That's very philosophical. Okay, finally made my way over to the pod here, and I woke this guy up by banging loudly on the outside of it. I really hope it scared him a little bit. That's a face I wasn't expecting. Did we arrive in the strictest technical sense? Yes, we have landed. You know, any landing that you can walk away from, as they say. Good news, I got another guy woken up. I hope there aren't like 50 guys to wake up. I'm kind of hoping it was only the one of them, because that took me a little bit of time. I've returned in one piece. I am in one piece, that is correct. Um, are you aware of the hardened goo that surrounds this planet? Oh, my assistant here has seen something of interest and he's just bounded off. They should be arriving any minute now. Good work. Well, uh, you want to say both of us, but really it's just one of us. I don't know where the robot went. I'm playing this game for the first time myself, man. I was kind of assuming you'd know where the robot went. Oh, he's ended up over here. What? What's your deal, man? Why did you just run off like that? Indeed, you're a robot. You're supposed to be sort of, like, obeying our commands or something. Activity detected. A bit of life is coming back into this route. Is it because of the plants? Well, probably. That's kind of how biology works. And back to the mothership here, and my man's turned up. Sorry about banging on your pod, dude. You found the robot, and Bahan just arrived moments ago. There you two are. Thanks again for coming to fetch me. Yeah, it was no problem, man. Well, actually, it was kind of a long walk, and I had to heal a bunch of plants on my way. So, you know what? Actually, behind it was kind of a pain in the neck. If you wanted to tip me or something for that, that'd be okay. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're going to set up shop over here. So I've got a tent in a box. Place the tent. Okay. Place it right there. I don't want to carry it anymore. I want to... I want to... There... No, I don't want to scan it. I mean, I could scan it. Scanning it's okay. We'll scan it. What the heck? Place it in a designated area and slowly take two steps back. Oh, okay. Is it going to explode? Well, what if I take two steps back? Was that... Was that... That's definitely two. That's like three or four. This is multiple steps. I'm many, many steps away from it. I'm like a quarter mile away from it. Oh, I see. You need it in a specific location. Okay, so you just need it over here. That's the only place we're allowed to put it. Okay, tent is up. It's kind of a terrible tent. There's going to be like four of us in here, and one of us is a robot. You know that's going to be a rough night. All right, so in terms for, in return rather, for putting up the tent, now we get a shovel. Okay, what to use it for? Well, probably digging. Probably digging would be what we're using that for. So we, we finished that. 
How do we shovel things? Are we shoveling that grass? What do you have to say about my shovel? So we're being told that all of the other escape pods are completely untrackable. So we're just going to have to kind of bump into them. Follow the signal southwest. This might be one of them. Southwest, you say? Let me, uh, let me take a peek at the old map here. Yeah, that's good. That tells me where I am, but not really where I'm going to be going. So southwest, that's kind of this away. Oh, that's not going to go anywhere. No, there's plenty to scan on the way, though. So we've got whatever that is. Okay. And that looks very sick in that it's got a like a cloth over its face like it's sneezing or something. Okay, and that we've got that, another herb. Okay, and how about this one? Garbage. Oh, good. I'm good with garbage. And, of course, removing the garbage makes the plants all perky. And we've got another root bridge that we can use. Fantastic. So I can swing right down there. Hold up, hold up what? I'm very busy, robot pal. Ah, oh, we got some seeds from revitalizing that plant. They can be harvested from plants that have bloomed walk up and then harvest them okay well let's walk up and harvest them there we go we've got herb seeds those look distinctly like maggots i don't think those are seeds at all oh that can't be good there's a pod way out in the ocean there i don't know how we're getting there unless we can construct another one of those root bridges by revitalizing the plants in the area it's lodged in the other side of the cliff yes i noticed that bit i don't think we can reach it from here let's find another bridge that would be the ideal goal but we've got some things to do first here let's get the garbage out of here and that will obviously perk up those plants very nicely. Got another root bridge. We can go up here. Got something to scan. We've got another tree that we've figured out. And then obviously get the garbage out of here. No, not quite. Removing the pollution is not enough. I don't really know how plants work, but there's a way to grow them. Yes, you put the seed in the dirt. And then later, plant. Okay, that's where the shovel is going to come in. No surprise there. We've got to dig a hole and put the seed in there. All right, so... Go to shovel. All right, dig that. Okay, and then plant. I've only got the one thing, so put the maggot seeds in there. And I can just keep going. Any tile that is empty, I can plant something in there. And obviously, again, maggot seeds, please. So get that. There we go. One more to go. Okay, well, let's get... Can I, can I dig in here? No, no, and no. Where do you think... I'm putting another seed. Ah, maybe over here. Maybe in a different spot. There we go. So let's dig that. And then obviously put the maggot seeds in. Good. And then do it again. Oh, yeah. That got the whole area going over here. Placing two plants of different types allow them to grow into a healthy state. So I assume, you know, more plants the better is what you're telling me there. Now, if I go to my shovel, can I just randomly dig here? No. No. Not allowed to do that, and I can't get rid of that debris. I'm sure that'll probably pop up later. I can dig here, though. All right, so plants have an adjacency bonus. If we do a herb, a plant, and a tree all together with them touching each other, then they all do better. Having a variety of different neighbors, all of them have lots of seeds. All right, so let's harvest some things there. We've got some uh, fern seeds there. We'll grab those. And we've got some of those. So tree, herb, fern adjacency will get the job done. All right, can I now dig over here? Probably not. And when the plants bloom, they're going to try to spread seeds to the next empty tile, which is good. It'll save me a lot of time. So let's get, well, let's get this harvested. Let's get some seeds anyway. So we got whatever those are, take those seeds and anything else that we can get. Harvest the tree. We'll get some seeds out of that. So right over here, I got two trees side by side. So I want to plant something different. I want an herb or a fern. We'll put the maggot seeds in. People love the maggot seeds. And then can I, I can't dig here. Can I dig over here? Not quite. No. All right. So over here, I could dig and that's two ferns. So I should, and then one, one of those, one herb. All right, so I should put a tree here. Tree will give adjacency bonus, and everybody's happy right now. Oh, nice simple one here. One of each. Okay, so one maggot seed, and then we'll do the, the uh, tree, and then the fern. Yep, they are loving that. They're absolutely loving that. They put up a bunch of new roots that I can use to get down to here. That'll get me over to here. Everybody is super chill about everything. And that gets me over to the next pod. Bring the note to Elder Umarel. Oh, I gotta, I gotta walk all the way back? Find the survey probe. Well, it seems to be somewhat over here. I was just kind of following footsteps. There we go. Activate the old survey probe here. 
Must be the probe the Elder mentioned. I'm sure it probably is. He wouldn't be saying these things lightly. Well, no short walk later, and I'm back with the Elder here. You found Race's pod down by the short line. It was empty, but they left a note. Why did you not start with that? I did start with that. I opened with that. That was the lead. Oh, my man down here has got something for me, too. Do you have some time? I got nothing but time, man. We're crash-landed on an alien planet. I got nothing but time. And Bahan here is wicked interested in how plants grow. So I'm going to show him how we do this here. So I've got a tree, I've got a fern, and then I need uh, an herb. Okay, watch this, dude. It's amazing. It's like I'm a god. And basically all of that was so we can build breakfast at this point. So we've got a, got a box of breakfast here. Put any seeds into the exo nutri crafted into a batch of jelly. Okay, let's give it a shot. Any seeds, you say, and you need five of them. What happens if I mix it up? What happens if we do a little bit of everything there? Got new food, jelly. Yes. Okay, what happens if I just do all of one kind of jelly? Do we get just the same? Yeah, we just got more jelly. Okay, so no real variety there if you mix and match. And after a delicious breakfast of jelly, we've made camp and we're going to start a fire and have a chit-chat about things, but I think that's a great place to call it on this real quick look at Distant Bloom. Go around, plant some seeds, make the planet lush and green again. I get it. Guys, do please let me know what you thought of Distant Bloom in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth, all right? None of this manby pamby kumbaya nonsense, all right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't... I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So once again, the fish are on fire and uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there.